The only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good people to do nothing. This quote is often attributed to Edmund Burke, though historians have claimed that there is no record of him ever saying it. But it doesn't really matter. Because it's one of those quotes, made up or historical, that is entirely true. Throughout history, the only way evil has propagated itself throughout society is because most people decided to sit back and do nothing, hoping the problem would just fix itself. A small spoiler alert for anyone who happens to watch The Masked Singer. I hate reality TV, but I must admit it's one of those shows my wife and I have been watching since the beginning. We just finished season 9, and I'm going to reveal something, so swipe away now. Before they revealed who the winner was, they revealed the runner-up, the macaw. It ended up being a famous member of the LGBTQ community who recently came out, David Archuleta. He's a really good singer, but it was the conversation that took place between him and the panel after his reveal that was the most striking. I love you. I'm such a big fan of yours. I just want to say thank you for being so bold and brave to share your story. Thank you. I just have to say, uh, whew, real talk, when my wife was uh, on bed rest in the hospital, not knowing whether our kids would live or die, we would watch Idol every week, and you were like a ray of light for my family. Oh. And it's an honor to see you in this capacity. Thank God for you, and I love you. Oh, Ken. I love you, Ken. I love you, Ken. Give some love. Uh, um, just like being macaw has felt liberating, um, coming out felt liberating, and it is scary. I grew up very religious. It was a, a huge part of my life. Yeah. And I believe that if I lived the way, I, like being queer, that I was going to be evil. Mm. Mm. So I worked really hard to be, to be anything but that. It got to a point where I thought, maybe it's better if I'm not here. Oh, oh my God. Angel. But um, I realized I'm, I can't change this. So if anyone else has grew up, you know, feeling like they were bad just because of who they were attracted to and who they loved, I want you to know that it is worth taking the courage to show your true colors. It's scary, but oh, you're, well you're, worth, you're worth it. You matter. And it's so beautiful. We love you. I just want to say with everything that you said, that you are a gift from heaven, Thank you. my love. Thank you. <laughs> I have said repeatedly on here, I am not a member of the LGBTQ community in any way. I am just a simple, boring, middle-aged, straight, white guy. After seeing on a daily basis what the LGBTQ community is going through, the constant hate for no reason, the endless lies about who they are or what they do, the projection that people throw onto them, for crimes that those people themselves do. I'm looking at you, Christians. And after so many of them grow up spending years hoping and praying that they will wake up one day to be anything what they actually are. The absolutely blinding comparison to 1930s Germany is way too hard to ignore unless you want to. Which is why I and millions of other people here on TikTok are speaking up. Because the one thing we refuse to do is nothing. If we continue to pretend that nothing is happening, if we pretend that people's basic human rights are not being stripped from them on a daily basis, and if we pretend that it's not happening because it's personally not happening to us, if we allow all that to happen and say nothing, history will repeat itself. And if society somehow, as a whole, makes it to the other side of that history in one piece, we will forever be asking ourselves what we could have done to change it. When really, the whole time, the simple answer was to not remain silent. We all have to do our part to help our fellow Americans who are just trying to lead their normal lives. Because the road to fascism is paved with the bodies of people who were told they were overreacting. And we can't afford to do nothing anymore. <laughs>